last matchup on the show. It's the Texas Rangers going up against the Oakland Athletics. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. And seeing you the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Brent Rooker leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. So just about set and on the mound for Oakland in this one. Paul Blackburn and Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, off, don't give hitters time Texas. to adjust or think. The they can move through a ball game, Martin. and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Here's a speed threat. Marcus Simeon. That's off the mark. And we're underway here this afternoon. Next offering is in for a strike. Just oh. off the outside edge. The 2 1. And another ball. There's a swing and a drive. Rooker going back, back some more, back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. One thing these guys do very well is stay out of the double play. They've hit into the fewest of any team in the league, Chris. Well, Boog, we don't see situational hitting as that art as much as we used to because guys are slugging the ball, they're hitting it over the fence. But when you see a team that has the ability to shorten up, hit behind runners, and go first to third or first to home, man, that just adds to the element of what you're able to do in other ways with the bat. So opposing pitcher better not walk anybody or give them free base runners because these guys know what to do when men are on. The 1 0. There's a strike. One of my favorite stats all time, 1997, the Hall of Famer Craig Biggio played in all 162 games for the Astros on Astro turf, and he never hit into a double play. This ball's chopped on the ground. Smith fires to first on the run. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Three for nine of the series coming in. In there, and it's 0-1. And the righty deals. Just missed. 1-1. One, one. To the right side. And he grabs it. Foul. One and two here. Lifted in the air down the left side. Rooker should have this one. He's got it. And that is out number three. And the Rangers set down in order. And now the Athletics offense gets its first shot here. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. 
back here at the ballpark. And today's starter, John Gray. Yeah, and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So, so taking the mound, this is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. Bottom of the first. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Este Yuri Ruiz. The why to kick the pitch. In there at the knees, and that is strike one. That's in there. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. The 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swings and misses, struck him out. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Kicks and fires. Popped up. Low. Moving under this one. Makes the catch for the out. And time now to check out the A's lineup. Not a team that usually sees a lot of pitches or works a ton of walks, Chris. They take a more aggressive approach than some of the other teams in the league. They definitely have a few free swingers in this lineup. You know, guys who want to be on the attack, and that's great as long as you got pitches in the zone. But if the pitcher's able to expand the zone, it can be very difficult for an offense like this to get going. You've got to somehow draw some walks, put some runners on base so that when you do have those free swingers come up, you can cash in with some runs that are plated. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Inning over. An inning in the books. No score here on the show. All set for the start of the Eight inning. And now, Adolis right Garcia. Adolis Garcia. Blackburn back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And caught on the warning track. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Josh Young stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. At the belt and fires. And ball no, one. That's, that's a ball. One ball, one strike. The one one. Swings through that one. No score here in the second. Goes down looking. Six. Here's Leody Tavares. No Leody hits in the shutout last night. First pitch, just misses. And he deals. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Wait, 
In the air, right side. Capel puts it away, and that is that. One, two, three, go the Rangers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. So here's Brown at the plate. The first baseman. Yeah, the right hander back to work. There's a strike. pitch you see the that velocity ball. 97 One with that fastball one down set him down on strikes on just four pitches that time and this was just classic east-west pitching boo and that's not as common these days they went in away in and then back away for the call third strike and that kind of pitching makes it tough on you as a hitter to know where to look especially with two strikes and here's the catcher Shea Langoliers and the first pitch misses for ball one one oh Strike right there. Our one umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. Ripped on a line. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings That's with under stop. 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep yeah. into this game. Oledmiz Diaz now. That oh, yeah. one's in there on one. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Gets under and pops it up. Simeon drifts towards it. And that will end the inning. And the A's are gone in order. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back. Brad we Miller now. Rangers, the designated hitter. Miller in Brad his 10th season, Miller. hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he was a second round pick back in 2011. The right hander back to work. Tapped softly on the ground. On to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. The left fielder, Josh Smith. Up next for the Rangers, Josh Smith. Good eye right there. One out. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. One down, base is empty. Good eye right oh. there. The pitch. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Gets it to first and a couple of quick outs. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition. 
and tried to slow his bat down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Out to short. Diaz slings to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nine straight retired here to start the game. We head now to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And now here's the veteran DH, Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar. And a pitch. Aguilar goes six feet, three inches, 275 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. Ball to strike, the pitch. Swinging a foul straight back. Next offering way two, two. off the plate. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500 plus home runs, 3,000 plus hits, and a triple crown. Down and now it's three and two. And a payoff pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Here's the third baseman, Kevin Smith. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. There's a strike. Oh, one. You'll want. Swing and a miss. This one high in the air to left center. Smith on the move. Brings it in with a nice running grab. Yeah, there's two away. The second baseman. Nick. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Allen. Hitless last night, and they only scored one run. Allen, 24 years old, usually a shortstop, but today he's starting at second base. Out to short, Seeger zips it across. That is the inning. And one, two, three, go the A's. Still no score. Back here in the East Bay, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Marcus Simeon. Blackburn back to work. And a good eye there. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Capel settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one down. So now it's Corey Seeger. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and uh, these type of home run totals. And a foul ball. And strike two. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Off the mark there. Now one and two. And that's down it away. Two and two. The Rangers still looking for their first hit in this one. On the ground to short, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Not a bad pitch by any means. Down and away, right on the corner of the zone. Just a better swing, Boog. Stayed through it and hit it hard the other way. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Glide out his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Seeger over at first with one away. Strike two. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. The pitch. Going to count one and two. One, two. And a ball evens the count. And the pitch. Rip to right, base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Back-to-back -back singles, 112 miles per hour. The ball seemed to explode off the bat right there. He put everything together on that swing. So that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. That one missed. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Next pitch inside, 2-0. and oh. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two-ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. That one inside, three balls, no strikes. A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. One out, runners at first and second. There's the strike. And a pitch. And that one is in for a strike. And they're all loaded up. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Here's Josh Young. Caught looking his first time up. Capel giving chase. And that drops foul. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The pitch. Next offering misses down and away. Way to lay off that pitch down. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Base is loaded, one away. Oh. 
Fouls it off. Still one and two. And a pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. The one, two. Allen to Diaz for one. On to Brown. It's two. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. in Oakland bottom of the fourth and now the center fielder Este Yuri Ruiz the wind of the pitch there's the strike it's just been an impressive outing so far continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch and he's been able to stay down that's what's been key next offering is in for a strike Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now one away. Oh, there's a three-pitch no, strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball no, no. right now. K-ball. Connor Capel will hit next. Fly to right his first time. And that's a little high. One off the plate oh. inside, and the count is two and oh. There's yeah. a strike. And it's even up. Riding to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And the right hander deals. Back to the mound. Oh, this is off the second base bag. And he'll be safe at first. The left fielder, number 25. One gone runner at first. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one fouled off. two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here off the plate the inside and it's one and two one and two and that's outside, no, that's outside. the guy ball. at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception he knew right away it was an off-speed pitch and that one gets past the catcher. And that's a wild pitch as he moves into scoring position. Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. And here's a 3-2. Swing and a ball popped up. 
And it drops in. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Now back. First base. Next up for the A's, Seth wow. Brown. And first offering is fouled off. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Runners are at the corners, one away. The next offering oh. misses, and the count is one and one. One and one. They're now two and one after that missed inside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Swing and all the bat went flying there. Swings and misses, struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. First offering, and it just misses. Capel, the runner at third. Rooker at first, two out of the inning. That one close, rule the ball. And now 2-0. Oh. Line drive, base hit. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Tag, and he's out at the play. But one run does score on the play before the inning ends. So it's one run, three hits, no errors, and a runner left. We played four. It's the A's one and the Rangers nothing. New inning getting started. Now the batter now, Leody Tavares. The pitch. And yeah. immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Out to short, Diaz. Fires across the diamond. One up, one down. Now batting, designated hitter, Brad. Miller. Next is the designated hitter, Brad Miller. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Pitch misses inside, ball one. And there's a ball. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. 2-0. And All that's right, in for a strike. Out to short, Diaz. Not in time. He's safe. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop can even make that play. Josh Smith now at the plate. Grounded out his first time up. Ball one, no strikes. Righty delivers. And now one and two. Here we go. 
And a 1-2. That's towards center. Diaz on his horse. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Well, they found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Now a pretty big at-bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Heim stands in here, takes ball one low. Grounded out his first time. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Two balls, no strikes to count. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering is fouled back. Two and one now, two aboard. And here's a slow roller. Brown. Goes to second, no. safe there. No. Here is Marcus Simeon. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count, as he did right there. One out, base is full. Next pitch is popped up. Makes the grab, and there's two away. Man, it's so frustrating. You got a couple of runners on. You want to try to drive in at least one run. Maybe you get a little too big with the swing. Pops out right there, and I tell you what, nobody's more frustrated with that at bat than him. And here's Corey Seager to hit. One for two. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And that one fouled off. Miller at third, Smith on second, Pine on at first with two down. Misses off the play, and now it's even one and one. one, one. And that's downstairs and outside. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The two on. On the ground, right side. Down the line, and it's foul. Two outs. Bases are full. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Rangers threaten, but leave them loaded. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth, here and here is Oledmis Diaz. Diaz. Here comes a pitch. And that's outside. outside. On the ground to the left, Seeger to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. The designated hitter, number 99, Jesus Aguilar. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. Went down on strikes his first time through. Come on, athletics. Close, oh. but called a ball. And it's 1-0. He was late there, strike one. Strike. 
in the air right field Garcia settles under it and a couple of quick outs the third baseman number four Kevin now the third baseman Kevin Smith 0 for 1 so far first pitch doesn't find the zone Right through there for a strike. The next pitch misses. That's and that's ball two. And now two and two. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Kicks and deals. And now it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Right through there, got him. And that'll do it. A's go quickly and quietly there, but they still lead it one nothing. And welcome back top six and here's the first baseman Nathaniel Lowe the right hander back to work right. and that's in for a strike some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher they don't care if they fall behind 0 one Next one misses, and that is ball one. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Austin Pruitt up and throwing. Ball to strike. Bounce to the right. Throw on to Brown. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now batter, the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Stepping in the long ball threat, Adolis Garcia. He's 0 for 1. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Garcia goes six foot one, 30 years old now, and he was born in Cuba. Next pitch misses, and it's one and one. Outside of the United States, Cuba has more players and representatives in Cooperstown than any other country. Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are close behind. And now two and one. On the ground to third, and that's a fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, and he's there with a double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And here comes Mark Kotze as he's ready to make a change and go to the bullpen. Paul Blackburn departs, and a nice effort out of him, no doubt. New arm coming on. We'll be back for that in a moment. On the pitch now for Oakland, Shintaro Fujinami. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. 
and a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Right handed reliever. And now the count is even. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the grab for the second out. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. Line drive, base hit, around third. Capel fires it to the plate. There's the tag, they get him, and that's the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now here is Nick Allen. That one's in there. That's strike one. Ball one there. One 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 is fouled off. Garcia really on his horse for this one. And that's a foul ball. Swing and a miss struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That's a strike, going 1. The wind of the pitch. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. Didn't go. Here's a 1 1. In the air, right field. Garcia tracks it down for the out. The right fielder, number 21. Now the number two hitter, Connor Capel. Capel. And first offering is fouled off. And ball one. 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 To the right side, Simeon tosses to first. Play made, that ends the inning. And the A's are gone in order, but they're on top, 1 0. Welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. Now here's the Rangers DH, Brad Miller. A 
wind and a pitch. Just missed. That's inside. Two balls, no strikes. He swings and fouls one off. Right hander kicks deals. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Josh Smith up next. Left hand batter waits. That one the other way. And it's just foul. That was close. for a knock. Now batter, the left fielder, Josh. No outs, runner at first. Now the left fielder, Josh Smith. Corner infielders up on the grass expecting a bunt. And first offering is fouled off. In the dirt, well done behind the dish. This one in the dirt. Runner holds, count goes to two and one. The two one. And fouled off. Next offering upstairs. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Back to work. 3 2 now. Runner on the go. Swing and a ball lifted left field, and it stays fair. Runner around third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 1 1. Picks himself up an RBI. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder, so. He just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Go ahead, run on base. Jonah Heim, the next to hit. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. Now one and one. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So it's a good take by him. The one one is fouled off. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. That one to first. And he takes it himself for the out. The batter number two, second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. The 1 0. On a line. Wicker pulls that one down. 
Runner tags from third. Throw is high and over his head. So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, Austin Pruitt. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Seeger stands in now, one for three. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. That's a slider for a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit, and not an easy one to throw either. And here it comes. Yeah, that's outside. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The 2 2. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Everything came together perfectly now for him right there. Pulled the that one base. right in the direction the of the shifted goal. defense, but no. no one could make a play on it. I mean, that's his approach, and it's probably not changing. Runner at first with two away. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Capel going back on this one. Still going back. And it hits the fence. Throw is offline and he scores. And they lead by two. Well done. Drives in the run. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage and he squared it up nicely. And it's scored position with two away. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. They take the force out, and that is that. So they get three and jump ahead late. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Rangers three, and the A's one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Brent Rooker. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That just misses, that's the ball. and that's ball one. You know, these A's need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And he deals. Check swing, tried to hold up, now an appeal to first. And no swing, says Joe McDonald. Kicks and fires. He goes down looking. 
A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Next to hit, Seth Brown. In there for strike one. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. Why the kick the pitch? That one drifts one. inside. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Good eye right there. Full count. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, Boot, get back on track. His team needs him. Jay Langoliers up next for the eight. Is there comes a skipper out of the dugout and he's ready to make the move. John Gray will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Brock Burke takes over on the mound. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Let's go, And the first offering is not close. Now fly ball to right center. Garcia settles under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing there for the A's, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Sam Mole. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Well, these Rangers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. Double-digit hits, and they've done a great job of avoiding the strikeout. Only one of them so far, which tells you a lot. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Brad Miller stepping in for the Rangers. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Trevor May, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. The pitch. And a pitch out, but no steal, and it's ball two.
And now the lefty in there at the knees for a strike. Two and two. Tavares gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Swing and a miss. Oh, the throw is wild. Lead runner around second. And they won't get him, and he goes first to third on the error. Josh Smith digs in now. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. At the belt and fires. Good eye right there. One ball, one strike. That one outside. Two balls and a strike. Runner on at third. One gone. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. And misses inside. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Big strikeout right there. And that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in. So now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. In now, takes ball one off the plate. And a pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to roll to the wall. In comes the run from third. And they take a three-run lead. And that's a double. He was all over that one. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That pitch gets the corner. That's strike one. Runner at second, two down. And a base hit up the middle. Heim around third. Here's the throw to the plate. And he's in there, and a run comes in to score. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive into center field, so that definitely felt good. Now it's Corey Seager. Come on, athletics. First offering misses the mark. Left-hand hitter waits. That one catches the corner for a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. The pitch. And another ball. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. The 2-1. 
late that time, and it's strike two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now Having himself a really nice base. game at the plate. Pretty Good tough for the infielders to do anything oh. with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. A new arm into the game, the righty, Trevor May. Nathaniel Lowe will hit next. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. That Back one's in there, 0-1. One. One. Two on, two outs. They say it went. No ball, two strikes. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Two outs. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Here's a 2-2. Popped in the air, left side. Makes the catch, inning over. So two runs on four hits, one error, but two are left stranded. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rangers five and the A's one. Back here at the ballpark, and the batter will be the shortstop, Oledmis Diaz. Diaz. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And takes That's low ball. for ball one. Tough to take a two-strike changeup two. that just missed. I think it froze him. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Pitch misses. Two, two. two balls, two strikes. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. The designated hitter, number 99. Jesus Aguilar Jesus. now at the plate. Aguilar. Aguilar swinging it much better this season in away games than here at home. And the first oh. pitch misses for ball one. Foul ball there. The pitch. 
Foul ball. And a ground ball to first. And that eats him off. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Kevin Smith up next for the A's. There's a strike. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And a pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and two. The pitch. Hit weakly on the ground. Simeon. Quick feed to second for one. Throw to first. Safe. Number two. Second baseman. Nick Allen. Digging in, Nick Allen. This one in the air right field. Garcia really on his horse for this one. And it's just foul. Smith leads off first with two down to the inning. Into center. Tavares makes the play and it's out number three. One left for Oakland. They're down 5-1. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. May, in his ninth season, 33 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2008. And a pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. Righty delivers. That one missed. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Zach Jackson, the closer of the staff, is throwing. Here's a 1 1. That's inside. Stairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Now three and two. Boom. That's cheddar, baby. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. Boog, if you can set up a good two-strike splitter with a fastball on the previous pitch, it's going to be so tough to recognize and adjust your swing to get a piece of it. Clearly had him reaching for it right there. Young, the next to hit, takes ball one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Pitch misses inside. Now two balls and a strike. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. Gassed it right by him. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. 
Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Tavares, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Kicks and deals. One and one. Line to left, and that's just foul. Two down, nobody on, and that just misses. And he grounds one to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. That's the third out. Nothing doing for the offense that time. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the Rangers five and the A's one. So bottom of the ninth. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Este Yuri Ruiz. But why the kick the pitch? That's through there for a strike. On the ground to third. Over to low. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now batting, right fielder, Connor Capel. Now it's the right fielder, Connor Capel. Swinging a foul straight back. Here comes the 0 1. Out to short. Now the throw to first on the run. Now only one out remaining. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. The Athletics down to their last out. Now the left fielder, Brent Rooker. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. That one hit to right. Pulls it in, and that's the ball game. Well, a seven-out save in this one. It's far from your standard save, but he did what was necessary to help his team get the win. And see a guy pitch like this, it's very inspiring for other guys down in the bullpen. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.